Welcome to the Rebel to Succeed podcast. It's your boy, Inc. Anthony Williams, the founder of RebelToSucceed.com. The purpose of this podcast is to share tips, advice, and strategies to help you improve in all areas of your life. My mission is to make a positive difference in your life to help you live your best life. Now let's get it. What up, Rebels? It's your boy Ian from Rebel to Succeed coming at you with another podcast episode. Yes, sir. So in this podcast episode, I'm going to be sharing a very quick clip um, by a woman by the name of Margie Worrell from Success Magazine. Um, for all you guys who uh, who have been listening to the podcast for a while, you know, I'm a major fan of Success Magazine. Um, the editor of Success Magazine is Darren Hardy. Very big fan of his book, The Compound Effect. I, I will um, encourage you guys to go check out his book. But um, this is by a woman. This clip is by a woman by the name of Margie Worrell. Um, she gave a very, very um, informational speech, just sharing some information on failure, um, something that I've been talking about a lot on this podcast. So um, check out this clip by Margie. As a young cartoonist, Walt Disney was turned down for lots of jobs by newspaper editors. He was told he didn't have any natural talent when it came to drawing cartoons. Oprah Winfrey, early in her career, was told she was unfit for TV. And even Thomas Edison, he failed over 10,000 times before he was able to get that light bulb to glow. I share these stories simply because every story of great success is also a story of people overcoming their failures, their setbacks, and the many times that people didn't see in them the talent that they knew they wanted to share with the world. So I would love you to think about where is it that you're letting your fear of failure or what you're telling yourself about failure keeping you from putting yourself out there and from moving forward even though you may have had setbacks in the past. The fact is you have lots of things to share with the world. You have lots of talent, you have creativity, you have skills, you have passions, you have dreams and goals. And for you to really bring them to life, you have to reframe how you view failure. Failure in itself is just an event. It's not a person, it doesn't define you. And yet so often when we have a setback, when we feel that we've failed, we do personalize it. We take it to mean a permanent inadequacy on our part. Marty Seligman, the founder of Positive Psychology, he has said that it's not failures themselves that determine our success. It's how we explain our failures. In other words, it's the spin we put on them, how we interpret them. So if you've had something not work out for you in the past, I encourage you to think about how could you explain it differently? How could you look out at the circumstances that surrounded it and put it in a different light so that you can extract the learning and the wisdom and the insights that the failure provided for you and you can move forward, as Henry Ford once said, more intelligently. The truth is you are going to have to risk failing again and again and again in order to achieve the success that you want, whether it's in your professional life, in your business, in your, in your, in your relationships across the board. So I encourage you, reframe your failures, fail forward and let your failures be simply stepping stones to ultimately achieving more of what it is that you truly want. So that was a clip by Margie. Things that she's saying in this in this clip is things that I you know I've talked about um, before again and again and again on this podcast. You know what I mean? Talking about failure and how you should look at failure. You know, failure is not a bad thing. Failure is actually needed. Um, I've said this countless times, and I, I encourage you guys if you haven't already shifted your mindset as far as how you look at failure and how you use failure. I highly encourage you to run towards failure to fail fast and to use failure as a stepping stone to your success. You need failure. And when I say failure, you know, I think a lot of people, they get mixed up when you say failure. You know, failure is 
you actually making a mistake and learning. You know what I mean? It's, it's you learning. You know, I feel like the only way um, for you to ultimately fail, you know, if you want to say failure, for you to be a failure and fail is for you to actually quit on whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, for you to quit on your goals. Then you're ultimately a, a major failure. But you're, I mean, you're not a failure if you if you if you're working towards your goal and you mess up and make a mistake. Um, that's actually a good thing. You learn from that and you keep pushing forward. So hopefully you guys found some some value in this quick clip by Margie. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys. I thought it was very insightful, very informational. Hopefully you found value. If so, leave a um, leave a review. Let me know what you guys thought about this. Let me know how you view failure. You know, in the, in the, um you know in one of your reviews. Uh, and of course, um, like always, go to the website, rebelltosucceed.com. Check out the other content there. And last but not least, be a rebel. Reach everybody by exercise and love. You guys know what this is about by now. I said, but this is, whole podcast is about, you know, spreading love. And um, but this is how I spread love. You know, I share information that I feel will, you know, encourage you guys, motivate you guys. So um, I encourage you guys to do the same thing. Find your way to spread love in the world and do that, you know, but... Um, if all else fails, you know, just put a smile on somebody's face. Try to put a smile on somebody's face every day. So go out and be a rebel. Reach everybody by exercise and love. And yeah, it's your boy Yan from Rebel to Succeed. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. I want to thank you for joining me today and listening to this podcast. If you found this episode helpful or valuable in any way, and I encourage you to leave an honest review and subscribe to the Rebel to Succeed podcast for future episodes. To receive more content and value, make sure to visit the Rebel to Succeed website at www.rebeltosucceed.com. And finally, always remember that to succeed in life, you have to reach everyone by exercising love. So make sure to show somebody some love today. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you next time.